BCM Institute offers both certification and non-certification courses. They are the Foundation Business Continuity Disaster Recovery Certification, BCM Technical Specialization, Crisis Management, BC Governance and Compliance courses. Business Continuity BC and Disaster Recovery Drive Planning or the seasoned professional practitioners, our range of courses are designed to cater to any level of expertise. Review courses are also available for those preparing for certifications. BCM Institute's courses are compliant with the standards of SS 540, BS 25999, NFPA 1600 and ANZ 5050. Globally, the rate and evolvement of in the business continuity and IT disaster recovery practices has accelerated over the last few years. While there are many practitioners who may desire to be qualified by the existing BC certifications, there are also many other practitioners who possess some experience and skills, but desire to be recognized for their relevant experiences based on their day-to-day -day involvement in this practice. The key is to provide the right certification based on the practitioner's relevant experience and not to provide a one-size-fits-all certification program. Any good certification program should take into consideration the good practices that are more specific to their experiences, languages and cultures, yet remaining consistent with international best practices. The BCM Institute certifications are designed to meet and exceed the needs of such practitioners. The BCM Institute offers seven international business continuity disaster recovery and BCM audit certifications. For the business continuity certification track, the candidate will start off with the business continuity certified planner, BCCP, followed by the business continuity certified specialist, BCCS, and the business continuity certified expert, BCCE. For the IT disaster recovery certification track, the candidate will start with a Disaster Recovery Certified Specialist, DRCS, and followed by the Disaster Recovery Certified Expert, DRCE. For the BCM Audit Certification Track, the candidate will start with the Business Continuity Certified Auditor, BCCA, and followed by the Business Continuity Certified Lead Auditor, BCCLA. It is strongly encouraged to have experience in BCM before pursuing the BCM audit certification track. Finally, we have members of BCM Institute or MBCMI. They are mainly non-BC or DR mainstream professionals who would like to be associated with BCM Institute and have a strong interest in business continuity or disaster recovery. The business continuity certification track starts from the foundation level the Business Continuity Certified Planner, BCCP and advances to the Specialist and Expert level. The Foundation Course, BCM 200 Fundamentals of BCM is one day. It includes a 50 multiple choice questions and a passing score of 75%. Successful candidates will lead to the Business Continuity Certified Planner, BCCP. The BCM 200 is designed to for those who are new to Business Continuity. They are mostly members in the recovery team, middle, senior management, or business executives who are required to develop their business units BC, emergency response, recovery, and resumption processes, procedures, and plans. The key purpose of this certification is to distinguish and acknowledge the professionals' involvements in the business continuity management project and program. The BCM 300 Implementing BCM is a two days intermediate course with a two and a half hour examination consisting of 100 multiple choice questions based examination and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than one year of BCM experience will be eligible to apply for BC Certified Specialist BCCS certification. Candidates are required to submit a certification application form with supporting documentation. The BCM 300 is designed for middle management, department representatives, business unit BC coordinators, managers, planners who are required to developing business continuity strategies, design, and implementation of BC plans, preparing and conducting awareness, and training programs. BCM 400, Managing BCM 
is a two days advanced level BCM course. Alternative, participant with more than three years of BCM experience, should enroll to BCM 5000 implementing and managing BCM. The BCM 400 and BCM 5000 is designed for organization BCM coordinator or a professional performing full-time business continuity initiatives. It is a four days advanced course with a three and a half hour examination consisting of 150 multiple choice questions and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than three years of BCM experience will be eligible to apply for BC Certified Expert BCCE certification. Candidates will be imparted with essential skills and knowledge of business impact analysis, risk analysis, testing, and exercising, and keeping the BC plan current. For a participant with less than three years of experiences who intends to make BC as their career, they can also seek permission from BCM Institute to attend this course. The cautionary note is, you may not be able to apply for the expert level certification upon passing the examination. However, you will be invited to apply for the planner or specialist level certification. The DRP 300 Implementing ITDR Planning is a two days intermediate course with a 100 multiple choice questions based examination and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than one year of DRP experience will be eligible to apply for DR Certified Specialist DRCS certification. Candidates are required to submit a certification application form with supporting documentation. The DRP 300 is designed for middle management, business unit DR coordinators, or managers who are required to developing disaster recovery strategies, design, and implementation of dry plans, preparing and conducting awareness, and training programs. DRP 400, Managing ITDR Planning is a two days advanced level DR course. Alternative, participant with more than three years of DRP experience should enroll to DRP 5000 implementing and managing ITDR planning. The DRP 400 and DRP 5000 is designed for organization DR coordinator or a professional performing full-time disaster recovery initiatives. It is a four days advanced course with a three and a half hour examination consisting of 150 multiple choice questions and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than three years of ITDRP experience will be eligible to apply for DR Certified Expert DRCE certification. Candidates will be imparted with essential skills and knowledge of business impact analysis, risk analysis, testing, and exercising and keeping the DR plan current. The BCM 840 Auditing BCM with SS 540 is a three days intermediate course with a 100 multiple choice questions based examination and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than three years of auditing experience will be eligible to apply for BC Certified Auditor BCCA certification. Candidates are required to submit a certification application form with supporting documentation. The BCM 840 is designed for internal and external auditors, professionals, consultants whom are required to conduct BCM audits, review BCM policies, and activities based on Singapore Standard SS 540. The BCM 8040 SS 540 BCM Lead Auditor is a four days advanced course with 150 multiple choice questions and a passing score of 75%. Candidates who pass the examination and possess a minimum of more than five years of auditing experience will be eligible to apply for BC Certified Lead Auditor BCCLA certification. Candidates are required to submit a certification application form with supporting documentation. The BCM 8040 is designed for senior auditors, directors, managers, and consultants whom are responsible for auditing a business continuity management system. Candidates will be imparted with essential skills and knowledge of BCM Singapore Standard SS 540, auditing process and framework, conducting BCM audits, self-assessments, writing non-conformity reports, and corrective actions.